Hello and welcome. We are going to tap into the energies of the new moon that will be taking place on July 5th. This will be happening at 14 degrees, 23 minutes. So we will be reading the Sabian symbol for 15 degrees. And we're going to just do some messages. Cancer rules over the breasts and the stomach. So the archetype of, you know, very protective, the crab. It is very nurturing. It's very intuitive. It can be an energy of feeling um, very emotions shifting and changing very rapidly because it's ruled over by the moon, our Lady Luna. So happy solar return to all of you beautiful, nurturing, protective cancers. I hope that you have a great year. Where this falls at in whichever house for you will be more significant. I would love to in the future um, be educated enough to be able to share for each sign. That's my desire, my hope. So until then, I'm tapped into the collective. For me personally, reflecting a lot of the emotional stability. It's definitely cancer energy. Sun moved into Cancer June 20th and resides in the sign of Cancer until July. Did I say June or July? June 20th through July 22nd. So to all you Cancerians out there. We all have Cancer in us, by the way. We're made up of all signs and we all have 12 houses. So I've been reflecting personally a lot about... Um, it would be helpful to have the mic, so hopefully you could hear me. Holy hey, check, check, check. Too funny. I'm not going to restart it. I've been reflecting a lot about the inner child, the nurturing um, times in the past where I didn't trust my intuition, where I was told that I was too emotional, and I call bullshit. So I've also been really, really reflecting on the importance of true, genuine touch, right? Nurturing and whether we've had that or not had that and what we can do to nurture ourselves, to really be guided by our emotions as the moon ebbs and flows. But we're planting a seed here under the new moon on where we would like to be maybe more nurtured and we have to do that for ourselves if we don't have anybody in our life that's truly genuine and how you can tend to your own emotions right because the evolution of the soul truly is to come into the awareness that we have everything right within us and how we nurture and how we grow is truly up to us a lot of inner child things a lot of reflection of the home I've personally with my parents being you know elders now 80 and 81 years old really enjoying every moment that I have with them in the physical so you could also be reflecting on that too you know your upbringing and really parents do the best that they can do always and so it's not a matter of shaming them but Fulfilling our own emotional needs is where it's truly at. And so we're just going to tap into the energies. I'm going to draw one message, like an anchor card for the energy of the feminine cancer. You know, it's the opposition of Capricorn. So a balance of the feminine masculine where we want to meet in the middle, so to speak. So I just want to thank you for tuning in today. Like I said, new moons are a time of planting a seed. So maybe planting a seed of how we would like to feel more nurtured, meet our own emotional needs, right? So we can be in that vibration of calling in genuine relationships that are right where we're at and you can grow together. So I just want to thank 
God, creator, source of the universe for this time, this opportunity. We're just going to tap into the feels of the Cancer new moon. We just ask that you give us messages that are clear, that I rely, relay those messages clearly, that we feel into our intuition, that we protect our own emotional well-being, and that we learn and grow so that we can feel emotionally fulfilled and nurtured. And we give thanks in advance, and so it is. funny because tonight I met with my grief group for the first time in a long time and I have really really missed the ladies in there there's nothing more powerful than right cancer rules over the mother and there's nothing more powerful you know you have you give birth to a child and you think it's the most painful and difficult thing to do as you're laboring for your child but then there's another layer of it when you have a child leave their body before you and there's something very powerful in the bereaved mothers that I've gathered with. And so it's just no coincidence. I just thought about it like, wow, we're all back in support group during cancer season and what better time, right? Fourth house, emotional stability, emotional support, uh, support from others that make you feel nurtured and loving up that inner child and so no coincidence there so for this message i wanted to draw something from a feminine deck so we're going to do a message first from the goddess guidance oracle i know this is taking place for me in my eighth house there's a huge transformation happening you know resources with others um a death and a rebirth a transformation that's taking place so I'm planting the seed under this for the most highest good of myself. And I know that it will be met. You can meet your own emotional needs and nurturing. I still believe firmly and wholeheartedly we're not intended to stay alone for a long time in our journey. But I think it's important that we do take time alone to nurture ourselves. to balance out our emotional state. Nothing more powerful than a cancer energy that's trusting their intuition. So we got the message of Kali, endings and beginnings, and that's perfect with a new moon in cancer because there has to be an ending in order for there to be a new beginning. The old must be released so that the new can enter. So Kali, she is the goddess of, I think she's known for destruction, but like you see here with the lotus, and it also looks like either a new moon or an eclipse there next to her too as well. So like it says, there cannot be a new beginning without an ending. So you could be purging emotionally. You, and again, a lot of reflection on fourth house, home, uh, emotional stability, what makes you feel stable. And then you see the transformation there with the lotus, right? That is the new beginning. That is the knowing. She's holding this lotus in her hand, knowing that in order to transform, there has to be an ending. So planting a seed at this time for yourself, whatever resonates in your life, knowing that in order for that new beginning and that lotus to appear, there has to be a transformation, emotional purging, water energy could be a lot of tears and very emotional at the time. The new, the moon's always, the moon phase is always tug and ebb and flow, right? It is in a water element, feminine energy. So it'd be beneficial at this time as well to get yourself near some water. Don't hold back the tears. Reflect on what makes you feel emotionally supported and nurtured. Love it.
And you see there with her third eye, there's an, an awakening and awareness that's available at this time as you do do the transformation. Endings are sometimes, you know, painful, but there, it's, it, it's the opportunity and the evolution of us as a soul that there's always going to be not only emotional endings, but physical endings as well. Before I draw any more cards, so Kali is our anchor card for this new moon at 14 degrees, 23 minutes, June, July 5th. Um, so again, we're in these energies already currently. And I always say the moon phases, you know, change about every two and a half days. So plant the new seed now on how you would like to feel more emotionally fulfilled, emotionally supported, um, how you would like to fulfill the need of nurturing your own self. And to me, I mean, huge coming up is just craving true sensual nurturing touch of the body. And you can do that for yourself by just, you know, feeling your skin. I don't mean this in a sexual way, obviously. It's in a sensual way. It's in a nurturing way. So just loving up your body, maybe putting some lotion on and nurturing yourselves, massaging your feet. Um, even, you know, with it being stomach and breast, again, in a sensual way, not a sexual, lustful way, but, you know, taking some extra time to rub on your organic lotion over your stomach, the womb, and your breast even. Maybe this would be also a great time for you to do a breast exam on yourself, to really feel your body, feel your breast, um, because if you're like me, I'm a firm believer in not going and getting them smashed down like a pancake every time the medical field tells you to. So for the 15 degree Sabian symbol of cancer is a group of people who have overeaten and enjoyed it. The key word is satiety, satiety. I had to look this word up because I did not know the meaning of it. And it is the state of being fed or grateful or gratified beyond capacity. So huge emphasis on not overindulging. The theme here for the Sabian symbol is that this speaks to a man's enjoyment of fruits of his labor, while at the same time cautioning against hoarding, gluttony and overindulgence you know so at this time we could be feeling just so craving nurturing craving foods craving whatever it is you may be craving but it's important that we don't indulge just because something tastes good don't mean you need to overeat it to be overindulged by it so a nice healthy balance It also would be a great time with it being fourth house to, to purge things from your home physically, clearing clutter, creating a safe and clean space. If you have overabundance of something in your home, maybe donate things to Goodwill. I've been cleaning and purging a lot too, so right on target again. The image of a group of people who have overeaten and enjoyed, it dramatizes the fullness of shared experiences with others. But it also points to the necessity of using discretion and the inevitable consequences of overconfiscating for a lack in one area by going overboard in another, right? So if you feel like you're lacking something within you, you're going to be more tend to physically hoard or physically overeat. What is it that you may feel like you're overindulging in? And this is cautioning us to not do that. Access in anything isn't good and healthy. 
The image also suggests that the individual who develops an inner richness of being will never feel empty and deprived or try to take or deprived or try to make present moments last forever out of fear of barren tomorrows. So in other words, stay present, enjoy the small moments. And I totally have been like connecting the dots with the astrology in every single moment that I have with my elder parents fills my heart fills my soul because I know that time is limited. On the positive side of this new moon in Cancer, at its highest, this symbol represents exceptional competence and a passion for life. On the negative, lack of self-control and a tendency to engage in excess. So again, there's that caution of overindulgence by feeling like you're missing something within you. Today the ascent is on overindulgence. You may be inclined to overdo or go overboard in some manner. The opportunity with this new moon in Cancer is your greatest advantage lies in knowing when it's time to stop and be moderate. The risk is guarding against living too fast or too hard out of the fear that the time and things are running out for you. Don't be greedy. So where I need to keep myself in check is enjoying the moments with my folks and not being where I have been going of not wanting it to end and, you know, dreading the physical loss of my folks. That, that just that I need to pull myself out and continually, we all do, to be stay present and enjoy the moments. The stepping stones are satiety, which is that overindulgence, right? Gratification, satisfaction, enjoyment, abundance, fullness, extravagance, luxury, overindulgence, gluttony, excess, indiscretion, and intemperance. So that is the Sabian symbol for this new moon in Cancer. So let's draw some messages from the Moonology Oracle. So remember that this planting of the seed of the new moon, we have to come to the realization that every ending begins with a new beginning and now is the time to plant the seed for that. So what is it from the Moonology Oracle that would like to come through for this new moon in Cancer happening July 5th? The first message we got is a new start is coming, the new moon. So plant the seed. Be very consciously aware of what you're feeling, the emotions that are flowing. Remember that, you know, in order to make new beginnings and set seeds for the new beginning, there is purging to do. Again, fourth house, home, childhood, the mother, nurturing, protective. And we got, oh my gosh, and the second one that popped out is you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. Cannot make this shit up. That's why I love it. Blue coming up. This could indicate blue chakras, the throat chakra, maybe needing to speak your true feelings to somebody, to speak your true emotions, how to nurture yourself, how to speak to yourself, clearing that up through speaking, through writing. <laughs> That's why I love spirit so much. Look at all the blue. Look at all the both cards, new moons, planting a seed, and where there's an ending, there's a beginning. There's our goddess Kala. Gotta love it. We plant, plant our seeds with setting a new intention under the new moon energy. To, to plant a new seed to feel more emotionally fulfilled, more stable in the home, right? Fourth house isn't just the physical home. It's the home, the vessel, the body. I love it. 
What other messages would like to come through from the Star Codes Astro? Lots of blue there. So focusing not only, you know, we coming up from the, the stomach to the throat chakra goes through the heart. So feeling a need to, you know, speak your feelings, speak your true heart. This could be an indication that you need to speak to somebody whether it be family or soul family, like, you know, speaking emotions to them. Stability in the home. Feelings, emotional stability. What else would like to be addressed under the energy of the new moon? Libra balance. So it's all about balance. This is an air energy, seventh house, balance in relationships. Are you just giving but not receiving? Are you only receiving but not giving? We're needing to balance and harmonize. Seventh house is all relationships. We do have the south node of the moon in Libra. It's about an 18-month cycle. Continues to be there, I do believe, through July. Mm, don't quote me on this. It went into Libra in July. So a good healthy balance in our relationships. And again, with this blue energy coming up, two new moon energies, this could be, you know, initiating a true nurturing relationship with others, a transformation and ending perhaps in relationships too, because, you know, South Node energy in Libra is about letting go of codependency, Unequ uh, unequally yoked relationships. Seventh house is all relationships. And I guess it's also open enemies. And so that could be where, you know, you're just been in this relationship that it's been one-sided. You need to end it in order to have a truly fulfilling emotionally. I was reflecting on this too, like a real man, like my father who protects his feminine, who nurtures his feminine, not, all, not only through just words, but true actions. And the true man in a relationship should be the protector. Again, back to that crab, you know, the shell. That truly is, you know, we're not demonizing the feminine or masculine, but we're needing to come into balance with that within ourselves, within the seventh house, with relationships really fascinating let's draw a chakra oracle i really wish i would have made myself a cup of coffee been playing a lot of um you know water sounds in the background right now on my youtube on my videos i can't soak in epsom salt baths because i do have some medical things going on right now that's another thing I wanted to make sure I brought to you guys' attention. I am emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually so devoted to this channel and my Lady Virgo channel that I just want you to know that my website's been postponed. I have some medical things that are going to be taken care of this month. And if you see me go a little quiet on my channel, please stand by. Please stay with me. I appreciate you being here. If you're new today, please do like, subscribe. Caution with vanity. Blue throat chakra. We need to caution ourselves as we have more and more energy that's going to be moving into the Leo energy because the low vibe of that is vanity, overindulgence, superficiality, Cancer energy is far from superficiality. It's emotional. It's protective. <coughs> I want to see what it says from this card. And again, we got more blue here, guys. So really speaking up and speaking truth and being vulnerable with people who are safe that make you feel protected, that are not only hearing you but are listening Let's read Vanity. And I opened right up to it. And it's just a really, I know it's really a darker video, but I don't like the big floodlights. Um, 
and how I feel emotionally supported and nurtured is just dim lights and soft music and I'm doing all of those things to make myself feel that so what else is coming in there has been movement of mercury in Leo that took place on July 2nd so tomorrow because today I'm recording this on the 1st July 1st Caution as we have more energy moving into Leo because that is the lower vibe of vanity, acting, narcissism, greedy, you know, someone who likes to steal the limelight. That's the low vibe of it. The high vibe of it is heart-centered and loving and courageous. We all say we will stop when we have enough, but there's never enough. You may be looking outside of yourself for validation. Am I feeling disconnected from any people in my life? Am I growing away from or limiting or am I growing away or limiting relationships? Here we got Libra, seventh house, all relationships. There is going to be endings for some. I've said this since the nodes of the moon went into Aries Libra. Um, for me, it is. There's a death and a rebirth happening within myself. There's been an end ending and a severing, and Kali is that. I believe she is the one that will come in, and anything that is not authentic will be destroyed, cut, severed, and tied with the Kali energy. Environmental tension, living in illusion, self-doubt, power, power to change, lesser companions and empty conversations. So we're needing to make sure, and this cosmos are supporting us, any relationships that are not in balance and in harmony are ending Kali energy, ending yes, it's painful, go down into the mucks like the lotus, the lotus is resurrected and grows out of the dark and the depths and the mud. So a lot of emotional intensity is building under this new moon energy. Anything else from this vanity card? So anything that's not, anything that's just surface level, which, you know, people with Libra energies, especially a moon, can just keep things at surface level, just light and fluffy. There's no depth. There's no balance. Cancer energy wants to go deep. Cancer energy wants to go to the womb of true nurturing, true relationship, depth, stability, fourth house. If your fourth house energy is built on sand, it is crumbling at this time and it will continue to do so until the vanity and superficiality is gone. Wow. The key words for this vanity shock blue chakra is faith awareness and transformation so ending things that are not deep ending things that are just in vain superficiality the opposing sign of cancer is capricorn on the low vibe of capricorn it can be dog eat dog stepping on other people just to think that they're making it to the top so a good healthy balance of action but also getting in tune with yourself so again, the transformation energy comes up with this blue chakra card, the vanity card. If the foundation is not built on rock, it will crumble. And that starts within ourselves. So we're being asked to reflect upon all relations that we have, seventh house. This also could, also could be bringing up open enemies and how you need to cut sever and tie those anything that is against you is not for you so therefore it's out of balance plant the seed you and your loved ones are safe hold dear to those that truly do love you honor you nurture you have a reverence for you boy have i been reflecting on that a lot again like i said with my folks so let's do an I am affirmation to sum up this message for the Cancer New Moon, July 5th. Caution yourselves with the vanity, with the Sabian symbol of overindulgence. Too much excess of anything 
creates an imbalance. So what is the I am affirmation for the new moon taking place in the watery, intuitive, protective, nurturing sign of cancer? I choose love over fear. I choose love over fear. I hope you do as well. I hope that you find this helpful, enlightening, a little bit of guidance, feel into the feels, trust your intuition, be sensual and nurturing with yourself, whatever that is and however that is that you feel that. It's funny, I was laying in bed the other night and I was, I finished rubbing in my lotion and I was just laying in bed just, and it was just like the touch of that nurturance was very healing. It's got to come from a space of love. It can't come from superficiality and balance relationships that are not in harmony and not in balance. Much love to you guys. And until the next time, shalom, shalom.